minus five. Three, two, one, zero. Lift off. Again, we've got Coco there. <laughs> the man, the, the man in black, also known as and me and Kevin, Kev just normal. And Jackie. Yeah. <laughs> hey, oh, oh, listen, I know Jackie is far from normal, so don't say that. <laughs> well, that that's very true. Yeah, again, it's happened every seven days. It's Sunday, and this is Drone Singer Show. And uh, these are my counterparts. I'm not going to introduce you because you already know them. I said, Coco. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's have a quick look in the chat. Who have we got? Stevie yeah. Noel. Hello, Steve. Steve's been here since. Oh, he was first. I thought it was late, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I, I thought that. Steve is, is coming over in October, so we'll yeah. have a meet up when you're here. Steve Knowles. Okay. Is he, what, is he, when is he coming over the whole of October or just? I can't remember, but I'm sure it's while you're here. So. As long as it's between the 17th and the 24th. Hopefully that it is. Right. Well, uh, yeah. uh, and Lauren. Hi, Lauren. Oh, and no, Caroline. How do you? Hi, Caroline. Hey, all. Hey, hey, was it just me, guys, or was Caroline on her best behavior last week? Yeah, we think she was. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a bit She's worrying, really. <laughs> She's always on the best behaviour, Caroline is. But, uh, Jerry. <laughs> I just read my <laughs> And where was we going? We'll see you last Jerry. Oh, I can't remember that is, but I'm sure Mark said That's Joe. Yeah. That's Joe. He, he flies oh, together uh, with Johnny Drone Flyer. Ah. Yeah. In Louisiana. And I'm in Louisiana, oh. not oh, my yes. Hello. Hello, Brian. Brian? Brian? Brian's not here. <laughs> Who's Brian? Don't know. Yeah. Mar Mary's here. Maybe we could find a Brian. Yeah, I'm sure we we'll can find a Brian. Yeah. Hello, uh, Sally. Me and Biggles up. Biggles, yeah. Biggles, you bump that dog up her on drum you run up. Anyone else we got? Oh, Steve Elder and Lauren. Hey, Brian. Jack and Laurie. <laughs> I'm running out of names. Oh, Laurie. Roman Ray. Roman Ray. Roman Ray. Roman Ray. Mary. Hi, Mary. So, Roman Ray. Who is Roman Ray? Who's Roman Ray? I don't know who Roman Ray is, do I? Good evening to you, Roman Ray. Whoever. Yeah, yeah. Whoever you are, Roman Ray. Ray. Hey, welcome, we're, we're welcome, happy that you're welcome, here. Welcome to one hour of craziness. <laughs> Steve Long is here until the 22nd of October. And, and is that he's good? here and, uh, he's in Spain until the 22nd. Yeah. Well, then we have to meet up then. Excellent. Yes. Look forward to that, Steve. We'll make that happen. Excellent. I should, right. be, I should be in Italy. In I know. I really know. Back to the state, <laughs> you, see, you see, this is the thing. I come over to Spain. Twice and, now, he, he and he runs away. I know. Oh, right, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, should, I should have told him the wrong dates, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. right. Going on Let, let's see if we can find a special guest. Let's welcome this week's Drone Seekers live show special guest. It's Brian. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Another, another man in black. 
We're in Denver. Yeah. And he's got the uniform as well. He's got the uniform as well. That's why I like to see. Can hardly see with him things on. Oh, no, don't do that again, Jack. You've got the old one on. No, just showing you the t shirt. Calm yeah. down. It's staying on. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Don't, don't panic. <laughs> we were talking about last week about the, what, the, the, the two comments that Gary said that uh, he thought he was on the wrong show. <laughs> uh, Keith, well, I'm trying to remember what the second comment was. Well, no, I can't what the first yeah. comment was. The second one was about keeping it up. But I can't remember the other one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was all innocent, though, wasn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. what Caroline tried. Anyway, Brian, welcome to uh, Don't Seek Show. And again, because you've been on here at least at least two times, I can remember. But uh, it's nearly a year ago since I was up in the borders of um, Scotland. Oh, no. We went out flying, did we not? Yeah, it didn't seem that long. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was last September. It was, it's, just, it's just amazing how time flies. Literally flies, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've got questions, Brian. No, so what's the Scott? What, what's it, the the Baldur's weather like then? Is it still nice? Is it all? Nah, oh. miserable. Is Wet and windy. Is it really? <laughs> ah, it's well, not I want to know if Brian's going to get the avatar. Av avatar. Got to right. get it right. Ah, well, that's that's top secret. That Million is, dollar it? question. Uh, I'll I'll tell you. It's ordered. <laughs> oh, I've, only ordered, I've only ordered the drone. I'm not ordering oh, okay. everything else. I'm gonna order it for October. Yeah. Well, I had an email from um, DJI I said that um, you can now order just a drone. And as much as I was tempted, I thought, what the hell am I gonna do with it? You're gonna fly it, Steve. That's what you're gonna do. I've got an yeah. FPV drone. I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm just reading lots of um, reviews on it at the moment. I'm quite enjoying watching some of the reviews. You know, the time thing, which I was never in much doubt about. Um, it turns transpires about 12 minutes flight time out of battery. So, you know, that's that's not bad, is it really? See, I'm I'm thinking that it's it'll be less breakable as the FPV drone. Well, you can take more risk that person in the corner behind Brian. That, that's that's um, Yeah. That's, um, <laughs> I've, I've got a name. I've, oh, how can I forget a name? Oh. No, girl. What's that? I can't remember. Come on, come back on the camera. Come yeah. say hello. There she is. Hello. Hiya. 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 Oh, no, that is a scary. <laughs> Help, Mary. What was that? <laughs> I, want, uh, I want to learn uh, manual mode with the Yavata. Yeah, that's, sort of, that's really the reason I'm getting it, I think. Do you know, Ryan, Don Coopy said he went into manual mode on his first flight, and he, he did. He did. Right. He did. I've done it. I have done it with the, the FPV drone, but it's I'm no I'm not comfortable with it at all. The, no. the, the, the weird thing about this, you know, we were talking last week and I'm still reading George because why is it they're selling the the Avata, is that the right one? The Avata with the, the smart smart controller when you can't go into manual mode with that. So you gotta go out and buy the other controller to manual mode. Uh, the motion controller. Yeah, motion hmm. controller remains, does not it? I think yeah. that's uh, what I'm saying. Yeah, there's, there's, uh, there's, I mean, you're okay, Brian. I mean, because you've already got the thing for the FPV drone, so be fine. So you can fly that in manual mode and do your life with it, can't you? So, yeah, but it just seems weird to me that um, they've sort of decided to sell. Well, obviously, you've got a lot of smart controls they want to get rid of. <laughs> what's what's but the most controls, controls. Hey, so Mark White is talking about. I know one of the problems. I'm not. I I, I really don't typically don't watch Captain Drone, but but uh, Mikey uh, Philly Drone Life, he posted this morning that while he was doing a loop, the battery fell out. And, uh, yeah. So. Set a tape. Set a tape. Set a tape. the overheat and tried to return over the cans to drop to a lost in the long grass. Wow. Oh. Well, there's, so there's a few issues, yeah. I mean, there are always You're right, Caroline. Yes, there are lots of motion control left over. What should we do with these? I don't know. Bring a new drone out you, and we'll sell them. You've 
quite like yours, don't you, Steve? I got a brand new one. I, 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 to be honest, with you, I prefer flying the FPV drone. When I'm using the goggles, if I'm flying line of sight without the goggles, then I have to use the other controller. Yeah. But if I but if I fly it with, with, the with goggles, motion controller every time. I love it's, it. It is. It's quite good from the motion controller. But he's it, it, well. it, it, very responsive. He's a lot resp more responsive, I think. I'm going to order it with the goggles and with the motion controller and see how I get on. And if I don't like it, I'll get a controller. I, I, I think you'll find it. Uh, you know, are you, are you getting the one with the, the new goggles, Jackie? Are you? Yeah, because I haven't got any goggles. I haven't got any FP. Aye, but you there. can buy it. You can buy it with the V2 goggles as well. That's the newest ones, is it? No, no, no. No, 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 no the old ones. Oh. There's it, be more expensive. But the newer though, ones are smaller and lighter, aren't they? So yeah. no. It's confusing, Jackie. The new ones are called Goggles 2. The yeah. ones you're thinking of are Goggles version 2, which why DJI did that naming, <laughs> I, I don't know. But uh, hey, Jackie, you need to look at Laurie's comment in the chat. Laurie's. Yeah. There is it. Oh, bless her. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> now you're going to be awesome, Laurie. She's got all. She's got brilliant ideas. There you go. Oh, Laurie's getting one. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, Rob, Rob was in the front. The slightest crack when crash calls the batteries pop out, which means you can't find you. So that, that is, yeah. Well, oh, well okay. Well, 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 everyone, every, everyone knows. Everyone knows this problem about the batteries. So what someone needs to bring out very quickly now is some of the to stop the battery from falling out. Or just a cable tie. Fix the problem. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Tell just a cable tie, that'll do fine. Yeah. I thought yeah. with these new batteries going in the back, it was just popping yeah, out the top. But, but I mean, all fairness, Jackie, I mean, the FPV drone, I mean, I sort of like crash landed, if you like, mine mm. once, and the thing that the battery, land, battery went, just fell out. Careful. <laughs> so Laurie already has the. Uh, and she's opening it. And she's yeah. opening it this evening. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm jealous. I reckon we're going to have a few here, Jackie. Yeah. I can't see myself not buying it. Well, there's just some it. interesting comments. Uh, You're going to get it October. Yeah, I'll just look, I'll just look at the... Uh, um... I've had a few expenses this month, so it will be October. Yeah, new yeah, air conditioners. I, new air conditioning. Did I show you my car wheel? Oh yeah, what finally became of that, Jackie? Did did they find well, a problem with the suspension? What it was was the tracking was out, and basically, that's my wow. finger in the hole, and it's down to the metal. Wow! And was that on the, on the inside? The outside edge of the rear really? wheel. Oh, wow! Well, yeah. Yep. Outside Have you seen edge. it before? No, because the thing is, it passed the MOT, well, the Spanish RTV, MOT, yeah. um, in June. How much, did you give, how, how much did you give him? Only August. Yeah, how much did you pay him? And uh, so, I mean, I haven't, I haven't washed the car since then, so I mean, it was, I just hadn't noticed it. One pothole could knock it out of alignment like that, though, right? I suppose yeah. so. And there's but plenty of them here, isn't there? Facebook Terry? user, hi, oh, Steve, yeah. Terry, Marcus, Brian, oh. yeah. So, <laughs> oh, I don't know what user? That is. That's a Facebook user. I don't know what it is. Who is it? Do we know? That's Ray Kelly. Good evening, Ray. Oh, hello, Ray. Stick your piece of bubble gum on front of the battery. New art box, got bubble gum. That's what you need. Everyone's chewing about going out. <laughs> I've got Harvey, I've got a new garage now, so it's. It's all good. That that's very true, Caroline. Yeah, the FPV drone do, does land on its battery, which is a bit stupid, really, isn't it? The battery is half the drone, but hey, keep it up near. That's similar. Or land it. Like <laughs> yeah. Catch oh, it by right. hand, Steve. Second. Catch it by hand. No thanks. Tried that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not the FPV drone. That's not a good idea. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that does, it, 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 leaves, it leaves a lasting impression. Out, out, E.T., out. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Hi, Kim. Hi, Kim. And what else we got here? Right, so we've Hi, got Kim. 31 people watching, so 31 likes, yeah? Oh, yeah, let's do the likes. Look at Robert. Robert's got all of his fingers still. 
Yeah, he can't, he hand catches it. Yeah. yeah. It's dangerous. I, I, mean, <laughs> I have blasters. <laughs> I don't want blasters. I'm going to wear asbestos gloves. Hey, hey, yes, <laughs> I've been thinking, you know those kind of like chain mail gloves that chefs yeah. wear so they don't catch their yeah, face? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look, Steve, last time you were lucky because my mum was there with tissues and plasters and the like, but, you know. I could have bled to death. I was, in the middle, I was in the middle of nowhere in Spain. I could have bled to death. No, you wouldn't have done. We'd have had to amputate it. I'll just put my finger in my mouth. <laughs> what, and, then, and then recycle the blood? Recycle the blood down there. <laughs> out there back in the bloodstream sorted. I'll be right. Dewey UAVP. Dewey. Okay. Dewey. Dewey. Dewey UAVP. Dewey UAVP. Say that. Yeah, yeah, it's hard to say. <laughs> yes, as long as you smash that button, they will put a reminder up there. Look, you know, where are we? It is there. Right, yeah. over here the well, light. That's you want. Oh, this, <laughs> I'm a little bit in the dark because my aircon here is broken as well. So I've got a choice either a light or a fan, and I went with the fan because it's flipping up. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can hear that. That's oscillating. It's oscillating. Hey, so I'm curious what our guest has been doing. You been flying much, Brian? No, as much as I would like. Just because the weather's just not been good. Oh. Scottish oh. summer time's been a, a usual wet, windy. <laughs> oh, wow. So if there's something you like. Sorry? Well, actually, 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 actually. Let's see what Brian's been up to. Yeah. This I mean, I've, I've, told, I've chosen some sort of selection of Brian's videos because I, I do like videos, and uh, this one's called Magical Scottish Borders. That was with a mini three, actually, that, you Very nice. Was it? Yes, yes, yes. Mm. That was good. It was, it was really good. I, 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 I do like, um, uh, <laughs> Marcus would do some pictures. There's a picture of him now. Poke, poke the pictures. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> what, what, yeah. <laughs> Told you about disappearing before. You're eating something, aren't you? I was. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> Cap Carolines, the, the locks are always a pretty good shoot. Except when I try and fly them. I get told off. <laughs> are you just scared the fishies? I don't know if I'll call me a Brian, I'm going to bring the FPV drone. I'm really scared of fish. I'm going to try and fly about two foot off the water and frighten every single fish in the lock. <laughs> <You're> jumping out. <laughs> Take right. it up to Loch Ness. We might get a glimpse of the ne Loch Ness monster. <laughs> yeah, you know what it is. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go up to Loch Ness. You go one side, I'll go the other side. FPV drone, two foot of water. 
if Nessie's there, mate, she'll be out. You'll find it. <laughs> Marcus is auditioning for the next James Bond. Yeah, actually, Marcus, you know, your picture, Marcus, you actually know, have a picture with your gun. Your gun. <laughs> 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 <Believe me. laughs> Marcus. Marcus Bond. <laughs> so, yeah, so, um, FPV drone, Brian, you, you say you actually flown your FPV drone in manual mode? I've I've tried it, I but as I say, I'm not comfortable with it. What 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 in what way? What just just feel unsteady? I'm just no, I'm just not confident to be honest. I've crashed it once. Have you? I actually crashed it in the fuel behind the house. I was uh, I flicked it in manual mode, and I just totally lost concentration for a split second. Wow. Upside down, dropped into the field. Oops. But you found it, it okay. Cracked, uh, it cracked a couple of arms, so I had to send it back to DJI. Oh, did you? Uh, but, uh, okay. I mean, I was surprised. That, I mean, I got a, yeah, yeah, a refurbished drone back from them. But uh, the only charge. Everybody in the US has one. 50 odd pounds of charge. <laughs> now, as Terry will tell you, the first thing you do when you pick uh, up a okay, firearm is well. back, yeah. make sure there's nothing in the magazine, right? First thing you do. <laughs> Indeed. So, saying, like, he's only concerned with FPV and fish, he doesn't have you a spot with you. I've got my gun as well. <laughs> <laughs> this is I, a I something that looks like a gun, but I've got nothing. <laughs> is, that ready, is that ready for typing your av avatar? <laughs> <battery? Yeah. laughs> yeah. that's, that's pretty close to it. <laughs> This is your weapon. This is your gun. So so it, yeah. you, I can't see if get many people getting shot from that. Nah. <laughs> yeah, Marcus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got mine. Got mine. Swear. Steer. Put it Marcus away where it belongs. Marcus is packing. Right. Who's a water back. pistol for goodness sake? Got a water <laughs> pistol, so that will be right there. Ray's got his yeah. plastic water pistol. Hold up. <laughs> oh, Julio. Hi, guys. Julio. Hello. 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 Hola, Julio. Hola, Julio. Hola. 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 Is he in Spain or is he? In... No, he's in um, oh, he's South America. I've forgotten the country. Oh, oh shoot me now. Um, somewhere Chile. really stunning, anyway. Argentina. No. In, in a minute. Julio, donde está? Todo eres. I was just. I wish I was young. So do I. I thought Julio was in Puerto Rico. Am I wrong? Oh. Possibly, yeah. Julio, where are you? I know he's done with it. Yeah. It'll, it'll it tell us in a minute. You know, talking to John Coopy, our, um, the first ever FPV drone pilot we ever had on the show, actually. Um, mm -hmm. And he's, he'll be back again on the 18th of September. Just a quick plug there for, for um for him. And okay. anyway, he's bought the new Avatar. What was it, no, was it was that drone called? Not Avatar, is it? Was it Avatar. Avatar. Avatar, thank you. Avatar. Oh, Puerto Rico, that's where we are, Julia. Yes, there we are. And, uh, and John, obviously, being a well, you know, a, 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 a very sort of a, a very renowned FPV pilot and flying all sorts of drones. And I said, What do you think to it? And he said, He loves it. The only thing he didn't like about it was the goggles. He said, that Obviously, that he felt that the nose part of the goggles were not quite to fit his nose. He said, in, in his words, he said that um, he's got Italian blood and he's, he's got a big hooter. <laughs> John said that, I didn't. So. Anyway, he did send, he did send me a uh, bit of video footage, but I thought, well, we'll show it on the show, shall we? Yeah, of course we will. And all I'm going to do is find it again, because <laughs> I've lost it. Right, okay, here we go. Right. So obviously this is I'm streaming a video because I didn't have time to upload it, so uh, I'm gonna have to in, intervene with the music track soundtrack. <laughs>
Right. Oh, <laughs> cool. So it just goes to show. I mean, John's making that look very easy, but uh, I, I mean, I think yeah, from the point of view you saying earlier on, Brian, yes, the fact cool. that because the props are actually protected, if you did slightly hit one of those surfaces somewhere, it just bounces off them, doesn't it? Whereas the FPV drone, it'll hit the prop and. and it'll just, be gone. You can buy prop yeah. though for the um, FPV. You, you can. I mean, to be honest with you, um, after watching that, um, oh, St Steve wants to know if it was speeding up. I don't believe so. I, I, I don't think. I mean, it's not as fast as the FPV drone. That much do no. know. But however, no. I, 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 I'll tell you, John's on in a couple of weeks. I don't think John's here tonight. I'm, I'm not sure, but if he is here, perhaps he'll tell us. I don't think. He, I don't think he would. But I think that's raw footage straight yeah. out. Of, somewhere so oh sorry who's who's flying the fpv that was uh john coopy uh robert john you, want, coopy. you want me to see if i can get him on real quick steve he can be yeah i'm not sure if he's um let me try I mean, he, he was available tonight but obviously we were trying to sort of work out for a guest schedule schedule whatever and john's i mean i can't remember he said he was away no that's why next week i can't remember what he said no <laughs> but yeah i mean and then you know for someone like that to actually be flying that drone to be fair, and he, and he sort of, you know, he says only says good things about it. So, yeah, okay, that's good then. well, yeah, well, well he's, he's, he's a bit of an expert, isn't he, John? I mean, yeah. you know, I'd, I'd love to know what um, the other guys, FPV pilots, um, I'm trying to be name he's on here somewhere, isn't he? North East, Shelby? FPV. Shelby, well, Shelby I, don't, I don't think Shelby's here anymore, is he? Shelby, can yeah. you know? Shelby, Shelby. No, not there. It's always probably out flying, probably on, on a beach somewhere, flying a drone. <laughs> but uh, no, um, did, did, did John call me his name? I'm struggling for names. Of... Well, I sent John a link. If he's around, we'll see if he. Uh... Northeast FPV. Simon. Yeah. Simon, that's it. Well done. Well done. Shelby. Yeah, we've had Simon, Shelby, John. Oh, and of course, yeah. Oh, so that's Shelby flies. Yeah, yeah, oh, he's Shelby will fly wings. Yeah, and Caroline. Well, Shelby, Caroline? Fly, I think Shelby, Shelby flies anything. I'm sure he does. Mm. I mean, Terry flies FPV. He does. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Hey, he does. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about the Simon says. I'm a, I, I'm just quick loads. Oh, Steve, dear, happy birthday for me the other day. Happy oh, birthday, Steve. Still sobering up, I think. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Anyone who has got coffee? Anyone who has got coffee? I've got video in somewhere. Where is it gone? Oh, 60 mile an hour in manual. What's that? Go off the avatar. So what about, in, what about in sport mode then? Is it about 30 miles now? Ah, uh, it's about half. <laughs> it's about yeah. half the FPV speed. But it's enough though, isn't it, really? It's just, it's, yeah, it's going to get them. It's going to be fine. Right, so, uh, oh yeah, a, a, one of my favourite, a North East FPV chase drone, tra tra chase video. The,
trabajo. Every week I find one of these videos so Northeast FPV. Excellent. Oh, that's so cool. I had the volume cranked cool. up to 11. Uh, <laughs> Robin was talking about copyright, copyright, sloppy right, whatever. <laughs> Very hard not to get dinged on YouTube for that these days. <laughs> they said we can't mon. They said they can't. We can't monetize the video. Oh, oh shame! Uh, oh, my heart bleeds. Oh, help! This means that Steve's not going to pay us this week, doesn't it, guys? Yeah, but not yeah. last week. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, John, I'm going to ask the question about your video show and, and just wonder whether it was sped up or not. Yeah. Pardon? You're... <laughs> I couldn't, couldn't hear you. Sorry, but your, your video showed her wrong. It, oh, hang on, hang on. I'll, I'll just be quick with right, the reminder. Hang on. This one. Remember ah, the Avon. Yeah. yeah. Was Woo-hoo. it sped up? Did, did you speed the video up? No, no, that video was not sped up at all. That was uh, all real, all real time. No, yeah, that was all. That was all one hundred percent real time. It was stabilized with Rocksteady. Um, I had the electronic image stabilization installed on it there, though. But yeah, if you, if you compare the original footage to the Rocksteady footage, it's it's actually quite. It would actually be quite shaky. But no, that was a one hundred percent real time. So what was his Rocksteady? What is this thing? Well, Rocksteady is, I guess, what DJ, the DJI Action Two has, and the other, you know, action cameras have had. Uh, but, but it's, I will say, like it, it's better on the Avada than it is on the original action camera because I've tried Rocksteady on the original action camera and put it on a traditional FPV drone. The stabilization in that Generation One camera. It's nothing compared to this. Like this is much better. Whatever DJI did with Rocksteady, it's so much Steve, better. So it, Steve, it's just electronic image stabilization, and mm-hmm. they've really cranked it up uh, with this one. But John, there's also the other version where you can put the raw video into software on your computer, right? That will do similar or even better. Yes, there's an application called GyroFlow, and you can. It's it's an open source application, and you can feed the gyro data from the Avada and the video file into GyroFlow. In fact, it will automatically figure it out, import it, and you can start playing with the footage and really tweak the stabilization uh, to be what you want it to be. In, in a way, it's sort of like using Insta360 Studio to some so degree. So it. Mm-hmm. You could do a barrel roll without really doing a barrel, barrel roll, right, John? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you can on Insta360. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You know, no, nobody's uh, 3D printing. It's Jackie and her fan. It's Jackie. It's too. not. I've turned it off. It's not. All right. All right. All right. Well, it's Brian, isn't it? Uh, it's always I think it's Brian. I'll be your fan. I'll turn the fan off. Right. I, I got to tell you, it's a really it, cool. It's now. a really cool quad, guys. It's a really cool quad. I've, I've, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm just saying earlier uh, on, John, that obviously. Um, Jackie wants to get one. Brian's place in order for one, you know. And I think, did you, did you ever fly the original FPV drone? Then? I I did. Yes, I've gotten the opportunity to fly the original DJI FPV drone. And so would, you, would you say the Avata was actually better than? Yes. Yeah, so between be, between this and the original DJI FPV drone, this is a lot better. This first of all, this flies so much better than the DJI FPV drone. Right. It's, it's it's a significant difference. Both of them are heavy. Both of them feel heavy to fly, but this one just feels more smooth to fly. I'm not really sure how to put it. But for me, I would say... The, this is more bigger, rare than I make. The, the bigger difference for me with this is that I feel like I've got more confidence with this drone than the DJI FPV to actually do some of the things that you saw but in that video. Is, like, is, it, is it because the props are actually not it, Yes, closed. it's because the, the, the props are ducted, and, you know, if I break the frame, I know that it's, it's not a, an expensive replacement either. I know the parts aren't available yet, but, you know, the frame is only 20 bucks, and I got to tell you, I don't know what it's going to take to really break this frame. I'm sure if I really tried hard, yeah. I could do it, but, like, this... 
the best way that I can tell tell you guys how this frame feels, it feels like a really well made power tool. Like, you ever feel like a there you go. power tool plastic handle on it or whatever? That's what this thing feels like. It is not crappy plastic. It is really, really strong. So it's, I don't yeah. feel this is going to be easy to break. Yeah. Cool. Original Dobo also makes. He's already produced some bumpers that you can put on there as well i saw that yeah, yeah. i saw that Do dobo's got bumpers on there to add additional protection of course it's going to add a little more weight it's going to decrease right. the flight time but again you know i say do whatever it takes to give yourself more confidence when flying because it's going to make you want to go for riskier shots and yeah. that was one thing the fpv drone fell short right. with is i I was nervous flying yeah. that drone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. This drone is not mine. I'm borrowing this drone from a friend. Okay. I'm borrowing. Doctor Dodson, we got to give Doctor Dodson well, the some well, credit. I'm man. not supposed. I'm not supposed oh. to do that. His wife oh. doesn't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you outed. Him. You outed. Him. Hold on. We just we just edit that bit. Yeah, I, I didn't mean to, no. <laughs> His wife can't see this. <laughs> no, what we're saying, no, John. In, in all what seriousness, was... yes. Uh, a good friend, Dr. Dodson, he did give this to me on loan. He's got two of them, so I was able to take a few days and give it a try. And uh, I've been, I, I've, I've been gutsy with it, I guess, uh, because again, I don't really fear that I'm going to trash it or total it. What, what's the worst that's going to happen to? It? I mean, it's got DJI care and whatnot on it. All right, it's got that on, but. You know, the, the cage, if I break the cage, it's going to be like a $20 replacement. What, what, is, what is the bottom frame? I think it's also like 20 bucks. It's not a big deal. The DJI FPV drone, if you had an incident with it, there's a really good chance you were sending it back to DJI. Well, and, well, you know, well, when well, I crashed yeah. the DJI FPV <laughs> drone for the first time, okay, I hit I hit something. I hit the side of a, of a PVC gate. And I wouldn't have crashed if the prop didn't snap off and break. Okay, with this, if you bump into stuff, it, you're you're not going to uh, go awesome. down because a prop snaps and breaks. So that, yeah. that's the other thing too. It's, it's a different kind of drone. It's just a whole yeah. different experience. Yeah, both. Well, I, I, I think that 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 really that drone I think is probably the bit that's missing from the last FPV drone. Because it, Brian was on Brian Brian put it. Uh, his FPV, the original FPV drone into manual mode. What did you say, Brian? You said you weren't confident with it. It's not no, I was really scared, actually. Yes, yeah. I agree. And, I've and, flown and, and both and Brian, of these in manual Brian, mode. And Brian crashed it and broke um, two, two of the legs. Yeah, it's 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 scary. Like, I, I've, I've been nervous flying uh, the DJI FPV drone because I feel like it's a one-shot wonder. Right. I'll tell you what, John, it makes me feel so much better, you know, because I mean, you're an experienced FPV pilot. I'm not. I fly the thing around line of sight. I fly around in, in sport mode, not in manual mode. And and, and I, I love it, you know, because why I see it, while it's up in the air, when it's whizzing around doing all sorts of things, while it's up in the air, I'm not going to hit anything. Unless I hit an airplane, which I don't worry about. Hey, you know, know what? This thing, this thing is fun, though, in sport mode to a normal mode. And you know what? You're going to you're going to be able to fly little gaps and whatnot. The yeah. similar, sort of similar to what I did. Some of those gaps that I did in that video, you would be able to fly them in normal mode, too. Like I never expected you to go through that I actually wire. did that. No. I did that. Well, I, did that. <laughs> I must admit, I saw that wire and John's not going to go through this <laughs> I, I flew through, like you might have seen where I flew, flew through my car, right? I actually did a run flying through my car in sport mode. So, I mean, you, you can do those things. Yeah. Wow. The other mode. You can Steve do said, it. Oh, you hit a goal post and a bit of white paint on the bumper. Nail varnish and moved it. There we are. Was that in uh, uh, the local Sheffield game, was it, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> Both uh, Potato Yet and Jeb and Dubby put out videos, literally crash videos with the Avada, where they crashed into things and neither of them had any damage. Nope. Yeah. Nope. My friend uh, Patrick was flying this as well, and he flew it in sport mode and normal mode, and um, he was trying to fly. We, they're, they're, you might have seen the video. There are the trees there, and I will regularly fly my traditional drones right through the V in the center of the trees, 
he just sent it right through himself. And a few times, he hit the sides of the tree with it. Yeah. It said impact detected, and it was just fine. I was thinking, and we were this, talking about this. This I'm is like, a drone for me, isn't it? It is, it is, Jack. It, <laughs> I was thinking, it, well, but with the oh. DJI FPV, that could have been a death sentence because right. it might hit the side of the thing, yeah, a prop might exactly. fall off, it might break, and then now you're down on the ground. So what well, happened? But, but, like, but John, just just a little thought here. Terry was heard all about putting the prop guards on the FPV. Would it make it more like that if you done that? Yeah, I no, guess. Cause... They're, they're not very um they're not very substantial yeah and you still have the structural risk even with prop guards that if you if you crash and fall on an arm you're going to break it it this it, the structure of this is not not made in a way that you're going to quote unquote break off an arm and i think that's the significant thing it's not one more question john uh, the difference between those pushers that are on the avada what, what what measurable what difference would that make to a, re, a average flyer? Um, that's a really good question. I mean, the pusher format it seems to be, seems to be, seems to have become popular recently for Cinewoops. And to be honest with you, I'm not really sure of the mechanics uh, or or why. Um, I know that they're. I know it's kind of loud. I know that pusher and whoops are kind of loud, but you know, pr probably not more than any other. I think. I think it's more efficient. I think it's just more efficient. But mm -hmm. uh, to be honest with you, I, I'm really not sure. Yeah, I was wondering if it had something to do with the ducks. I, it's probably. It's probably more efficient. I yeah. think than uh, than uh, just standard. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Speaking of efficiency, I get about eight eight to twelve minutes of decent flight time. Just. Uh, flying around, zipping around in in uh, manual mode, and really, really giving it a good run. Uh, that's, that's you would you would be hard it. pressed to build an FP, a traditional style FPV drone like that, like a Shenzhou Squirt or whatever, for example, and get those ten or twelve minute flight times. I mean, okay. I, I'm really impressed with the flight time on this thing. Right, let's have another look at one of uh, uh, Brian's videos. This, this yeah. one, Brian, talking about this is uh, a recent trip. I think Brian up in the Scottish Highlands. Uh, about a month ago. About a month ago, so let's watch. Enjoy.
Sorry, Marcus. Well, I just was going to say, I always wanted to see that Falkirk wheel. That just, that's really yes. cool. Yeah. I mean, it's, that's amazing. It really is. Yeah. I got to tell you, I was looking at some of the gaps there and thinking, man, there's some good. <laughs> oh, you, saw, you were thinking, y'all were thinking the same thing, I bet. <laughs> so that's, that's that's the thing, Jack. You see, you got, there you go. You see, FPV drone, Scotland flying through. Yeah, that's it. It does it almost makes you want to move there. Isn't that amazing? How like having a drone in general though changes the way you look at things when you drive does, by. Yeah. You know, like yep. it's like, oh yeah. man, that, I need to fly that. I find yep. myself saying that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. No doubt about it. Well, no, well, that's the thing. I mean, like when I, when, when over here, I sort of think, "Where can I go flying?" Oh, I don't know. I think I end up in, in a field most of the time, but the subject is not very good in a field. You know, I mean, so take the FPV drone, whizzy around, think, "Okay, well, that's got out of your system. I'll go home now." Then, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, if you go somewhere, you know, like we went up, we're on a trip up to um, to, the, to Derbyshire, you know, and you suddenly think, I've "Got a subject." That, that, that was the video. trip, Steve. That was really good because there was so much to see there, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah. It was a good spot. Mm. That was a yeah. great day. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Yeah, and, and just once you've done it once, you think, oh, you've got to do it again. Got to do, I mean, I've said to Steve from Yorkshire Drone Team, you know, we've, we've got to do it again. You know, just once a year, just not. I've, I've got a whole list now that I'm, I'm coming over again. I'm going to drive over next time. Yeah. Um, yeah. spend a couple of weeks. I mean, you probably have the same problem, Terry. It's like when I come to Spain, you know, if, I was often thought if I didn't bother having, I didn't bother hiring a car, but what the hell would I do? No, you've got to have wheels. Got wheels to go. Bring the van with me. But, so, so, but you've got the same problem. You know, you've got to rely on someone else to to, to, to take him out. You know, and like, we, we, Brian, I was lucky when I went up to, to the, the borders. I mean, we got we got shows about didn't we, Brian? Oh, we did, I. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm going to drive up and hopefully go up to the borders as well because I drive yeah. like that. I mean, the, the, the classic was. I mean, I know when I went to the borders. I mean, I stopped in Newcastle overnight and suddenly thought myself, "Hang on, it's only seventy miles. Miles keep going." <laughs> <laughs> we're, all, we're all pointing fingers. I don't have a clue what all that is. Come on, John. Oh, it. Yeah. Joke time. Joke time. I drive through the, I travel with drone all the time now. Very yeah, good. Yeah, likewise. Oh, I didn't have right. to. Right. Joke time indeed. It is in joke time indeed. Right. So, all I'm going to say is. And now it's time for Terry's Joke of the Week. You heard the lady joke of the week. <laughs> it's the joke of the week. You, probably, you may have heard this one, but or it's a variation on. But anyway, this butcher was shooing the dog away from his shop. And he looks and he sees he's got a £10 note in his mouth. You read it, it says, 10 lamb chops, please. Amazed, he takes the money, puts a bag of chops in the dog's mouth, quickly closes the shop. Follows the dog and watches him wait for a green light traffic lights look both ways he then trots across the road for a bus stop dog checks the timetable and sits on the bench when a bus arrives he walks around to the front looks at the number 
and then boards the bus. The butcher follows, totally, totally dumbstruck. As the bus travels out into the suburbs, Dog takes in the scenery. After a while, he stands on his back paws to push the stop bell, and the butcher follows him off. Dog runs up to a house, drops his bag on the step, and barks repeatedly, no answer. He goes back down the path, takes a big run, throws himself, whack, right against the door. He does this time and time and time again, still no answer. So, he jumps on a wall, walks around the garden, barks repeatedly at a window, jumps off, waits at the front door. Eventually, a small guy opens it and starts cursing and shouting at the dog. The butcher runs up to the guy and says, what the hell are you doing? He says, this dog's a genius. And the little man responded, genius, my ass. That's the second time this week he's forgotten his key. <laughs> Joke of the week. <laughs> and they thought that dog was so intelligent. Yes. <laughs> right. Okay. Hey, hey, am I the only one though that's just a little bit surprised that there wasn't just a little bit of a, a little dirty part of this joke? I mean, you know. No, no, no. Just be clear of that. Before the water shed. Thanks, yeah. Steve. You said it's not bad. Not bad. Something not bad. a little risque. Oh, no, no, so, oh, no, no. Was, oh, Caroline says. <laughs> oh, she oh, Caroline that that? Last week's was a bit risque, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Yeah, no, it's all good. It was. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember what it was, to be quite honest. <laughs> um. No, yeah. I can't even. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to watch re- next, last week's show, Terry, to see what it was. Well, I've got them all written down. I have to write, once I've said them, then I change the colour and I reduce the, uh, the the font size so I know that I've I, read them. Do you know, what? I, I can hear that noise now. It does actually sound like a printer. It, it does, does it, a little bit, yeah. And when you put a film on, when you put a video on, it goes. Right. Because that mutes the sound. Oh, it mutes all the sound. So yeah. it's coming from yeah. one of yeah. us somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Anyway, right. It's no big deal. No, no big deal. Uh, right, this is Brian flying his FPV drone.
but that's why I'm being nervous. I'd love to see what he could do when he's feeling brave. Oh, but that's that's yes. that's, 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 that's <laughs> an imagined though, Brian. Is it that was in what was that in, in normal mode or it was a mix between normal and sport mode? Yeah. Brilliant. And, and, and to be honest, I, I think he's enough. I really do. I mean, you know, I mean, I don't. Feel, I can't see myself ever flying, sort of doing somersaults and whatever in mine. And I, I just love it for the same reason you do, Brian. I think it's just great to whiz around the air and yeah. So that yeah. was uh, well, that that out. So I was just saying, Mark was just saying um, in the chat. He said, "I said, I said it's before the water shed." He said, "It's not. It's five past nine. Yeah, in overtime." <laughs> yeah. Overtime tonight. I don't fun. pay over. We don't do overtime. Time and a half. That. <laughs> anyway, Laurie says she's got uh, goggles too. Seem to fit and uh, and yeah. fit them. So happy days. Right. Yeah. So look yeah. forward to seeing lots more news on the um, Avada. Avada. That's Avada. right. What is it? See, everyone keeps saying it's called the Avatar, and I can't get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> the Avatar, then. That, was, that might have been my fault. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was your fault. It was yeah. like those blue people in that movie, Avatars. Yeah. Oh, there's the, the second one's coming out soon, Avatar 2. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is that Avatar 2 Pro, though? Avatar 2 Pro Primal <laughs> Kit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I look forward to, I'm looking for, Brian, I look forward to your um, getting yours. And John, thanks for joining us with. Um, with well, your experiences so far, and I think yeah, you, yeah. you told it to everyone. Jack, he really wants my one. Kev, I'm not yeah, sure about right. Kev. He might, he might think about no, no. He's, 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 nah, he's, I don't he's, think. Green one. You know Terry, I think buy. Terry, I think will buy one. Um, Marcus, Marcus might do. Yeah, you never know. It. Uh, yeah, the, the problem with me is for me is the goggles. Yeah, I have the same I'll problem. Let you know. Yeah. I'll let you know how I'll get on with the. Oh, uh, yeah, but, but aren't they, aren't, John, they're more adjustable, aren't they, the, the, the goggles? Yeah, they are. But uh, I got to tell you, I before I hopped on here, I just got done making a video about why the goggles, too, are a total deal breaker for me. I cannot use them, they just don't work well with my face. So. <laughs> yeah, they've got the diopter adjustments. The Lots Olex of good jokes there, John. Really, really cool, but <laughs> oh, oh. they don't work well. Yeah. First thing I thought of was plastic surgery. Oh, man, <laughs> man. Are you sold on it, Steve? And is it time to release the moths from the wallet? <laughs> well, for me, uh, <laughs> I don't know. It all depends if I sell me Mavic. If anyone wants a wild buy Mavic 2 with six batteries and... Uh, <laughs> Who knows? Maybe if I sell that, who knows? But I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll just buy the. Um, what's it Steve said on his close to the ground is as good as the sky. Yeah. Well, I'm waiting to see what Laurie does with it next week. So you're going to have to post some video, Laurie. She will. She will do, yeah. She will. Well, Chuck will be there, won't you, Chuck? Yeah. Get in, they'll video baby. it and they'll have whiskey on the side and. Yeah, never mind the Alaska ones. Let's have a look at the uh, FPV. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Well, exactly. That's what in the next couple of weeks. Can I take these glasses off now, Marcus? <laughs> well, it's Brian's taking the lead on this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's better. Is that two, two weeks? Is that from DJI? Yeah. It is, I. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Carol, Caroline said, by the said, there's no good. She misses the big picture. Do you not get what do you get then? Do you not get a big picture in them then, John? You you do, but man, the the situation is sort of complicated. Uh, well, the, the I'm gonna try to keep this really short. The big problem that I have with the goggles too, first and foremost, is that I got a big. <laughs> if you haven't noticed and uh specifically the the these goggles put a lot of pressure right here on my nose bridge and i have several other different kinds of goggles i've got original fat sharks i have uh, sky zone goggles that are also oled and i've got the original dji goggles as well and none of them put that much pressure on my nose bridge now you might think well don't worry about it they're gonna come up with a new foam that'll work fine it'll get your face away from the goggles that would actually be a problem because i've tried pulling these goggles away 
from my face until that pressure is relieved. And what happens is the way they've designed these optics, okay, these optics work best when your eyes are as close to them as possible. They're not what? made for your face to be far away. They don't, you don't have that opportunity to pull your face away from them like you do with the original ones where the, the, the view really didn't matter necessarily. So when I pull back, I get extreme blurring around the edges around of the, the edge, optics. Yeah. It is not good. I would have to reduce my display size to probably 70%, which is that's a significant reduction in mm. order to have the comfort. Now, as it is, I actually can't even use these when the display is set to 100%. And at 90%, I get blurring in the lower right-hand corner of the screen and dark edges in the other three corners. So mm -hmm. even at 90%, it's borderline. I would have to shrink the view down to 80% really to eliminate it entirely. And so between the pressure on my face at the bridge plus the uh, vignetting issues and the blurriness, it, it's just a no-go for me. And I'm worried that there may not be a solution for my face. You know, we'll see what happens. I'm sure DJI is getting a lot of feedback about people with different facial structures that yeah. this is not working for. I, I, mean, think, I, think, I think the answer, I think the answer is obviously if you've got the FPV, well, I mean, I'm sure most people, if they've got the actual, the, uh, the original FPV V2 V goggles, they'll have the original. They're not going to buy them goggles anyway. I mean, I, I wouldn't. I mean, no, that's that's crazy to me and brian you wouldn't would you i mean you use your other club, you don't need to pay no, that's, right. that's exactly what i'm doing i'm just yeah. buying i've just ordered the drone on its own and that, 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 that's all you need because you've got you've got the motion control you've got the the the, the, the you know the, the stick and play here yeah. so what more do you want so yeah anyway we'll look, look forward to seeing much more a lot more videos on the uh the, 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 that drone i can't want to yeah. pronounce it <laughs> 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 I've got more of a guy actually a smart what the hell is that? I've got a... oh. Yeah, these these would be a these would be a dream goggle for me otherwise though. Just just real quick. Yeah, these would be a dream goggle. The form factor is amazing. Uh I think, you know, with the, the OLED optics, they do. They look really nice when you don't have focus issues. You know, if I yeah. press my face really hard against it, <laughs> then, then I get a good then I get good view. But yeah, I, I can't. I mean, I will I will literally have a nice mark on the bridge of my nose. That's called cool. cool. I think it's called cool. a, a, a DJI brand mark. Yes. Yeah. DJI anyway. DJI brand mark. John, we're at the double time. Oh, it's it's Sunday. Sunday. Join us and, uh, it, and uh, yeah, well, it's, it's actually nine minutes past, uh, 12 minutes past nine. 12 minutes past, past, yeah. So, anyway, so well, it's the longest show we've ever done. So, thanks for joining us and. Uh, Hope you join us again next week. And if you don't want to, well, we'd like to see you. You won't. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy, enjoy your week, guys. Have a great Have a week. One. Thanks. Have a great show.